Why, hello, my darlings. We are back today to talk about another layer of heredity, and that is a heredity that comes from an entire chromosome itself. As you already know, we can look at our chromosomes using a karyotype. That's what you're seeing on the screen here. This is a human karyotype. This is familiar. You've seen the karyotypes before. Karyotypes let us look at our homologous chromosomes, one chromosome from an egg parent, one chromosome from a sperm parent. It lets us count our chromosomes and convince ourselves that there are two copies of every homologous pair. It also lets us look at the one chromosome that we all have two of, I don't know, I shouldn't say it like that, 22 pairs of our chromosomes are autosomes, and we all have two copies of every autosome. The last pair of chromosomes are sex chromosomes, and for humans, the possibilities are X chromosomes and Y chromosomes. There are heritable traits that are related to the X and Y chromosomes. And this is a place where um, the purpose of this lecture is to look at some of the inheritance patterns overall related to chromosomes, but in particular, to look at some of the inheritance patterns related to the sex chromosomes, the X and the Y chromosome. Before we tackle any conversation about X and Y chromosomes, I feel like we need to take a moment and have some definitions around biological sex and chromosome anatomy, anatomical sex, and gender. And so we're gonna take, we're gonna do a little brief timeout and make sure that we have um, the language that we want to use and that we're going to use moving forward through this um, conversation about sex-linked inheritance and all the way through the rest of the um, semester. All right, so I will be right back to talk about biological sex versus gender.